uh, I'm also going to tell some jokes. I hope that's okay. Um, and I swear if I get to do this next year, I'm going to cover Mr. Suckface. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've been married about five and a half years, and we're kind of at that point in our relationship with my wife where we're starting to experiment in the bedroom a little bit, and thought recently we might add a little role-playing in. Our basement has never been sexier. <laughs> took a little while to figure out what to do with the Cheetos and Mountain Dew, but we worked something out. And yeah, my parents are getting used to it. Uh, being married, I, uh, you know, put on a little bit, wow, I'm not just nervous, this is actually moving. This is pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I kind of added the 3,500 pounds that you do when you get married. And, um, at least when I get married. That's, uh, and, you know, I got a little conscientious about my weight after a while and decided that I'd come up with some good euphemisms to help me feel better about myself. So, I'd like to share them with you. Uh, so, I've decided I am not fat. I am enhanced for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> I'm not fat. I am method, method acting the Michelin man. <laughs> I am not fat. I'm really good at saving seats. I am not fat, I just have really big, soft, thick muscles. I am not fat, I just refuse to fit in the Barbie-shaped mold of the indoctrinated masses. I am not fat, I am too big to fail. Isn't that the biggest bullshit term ever invented? Too big to fail, that bank's too big to fail. Why? It's all frickin' ones and zeros, man. They don't actually have money. They're not keeping track of real stacks of crap that matters. Everything's ones and zeros. Occasionally, you trade in some ones and zeros for a piece of paper, you hand it to someone, they immediately turn it right back into ones and zeros. If banks are too big to fail, World of Warcraft is too big to fail. And frankly, if the people who ran World of Warcraft ran the economy, we'd probably be in better shape. <laughs> because we'd have save points. <laughs> oh crap, the stock market crashed. Go back to yesterday, we know where everything was. <laughs> and we'd have mods. Hey, Lehman Brothers is being a bunch of dicks. Bam, hammer! <laughs> You're getting pretty extended there, hedge fund manager. Bam, hammer! <laughs> If uh, the Secretary of Geek Affairs is listening, just saying. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to wrap up. I've got a little bit of time left. I don't know if any of you have ever had this conversation, but I had this conversation with a roommate of mine, and uh, I'm going to do it in the form of an impression. This is my impression of Jeff Foxworthy doing a show at Comic-Con. <laughs> if you've ever used the force to convince the Justice of the Peace that she's not your sister. You might be a redneck Jedi. <laughs> if your robes are made of sleeveless flannel and your Padawan braid was a rat tail, you might be a redneck Jedi. If you ever used the condensers in the South Field to hide your still from the revenuers, you might be a redneck Jedi. <laughs> If you refer to your astromech droid as Jimmy, because all the letters and numbers confuse you, you might be a redneck Jedi. If Jimmy was ever at any point in time, and or is still a functioning keg, you might be a redneck Jedi. If you've ever used the force to win a spinning contest, you might be a redneck Jedi. If your lightsaber is blaze orange, you might be a redneck Jedi. If the number of empty beer cans in the cockpit of your Y-Wing outweighs Jimmy, you might be a redneck Jedi. And if your X-Wing has a picture as a sticker of Calvin peeing on a TIE fighter, you might be a redneck Jedi. Thank you very much.